Hello, great to have you with us. Our travels have taken us to the south of France. We're at the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's France facing Barcelona. Well, it was a good start to the season, wasn't it, Derek? They'll be looking to repeat that today, and if they can make it six from six, they'll start to believe they have a chance at the title. Let's hope we get a good game here. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Moussa Diaby plays with Kingsley Coman out wide. And the tactical... Oh, what a chance this is, Derek. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, he took care of it defensively. Tackle, take it away. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Who can he pick out? Oh, surely. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. This attack looks highly promising. Can he finish? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Diaby. A wonderful intervention. Lewandowski, Ansu Fati, it's a weighted pass, oh the referee points to the spot, penalty, the complaints continue, and I can understand why, I think it's a poor foul, it should be a yellow card for me, and a timely penalty save, Barcelona free kick, it'll be here, and well, they've given him too much space, Mbappe Coman return to Mbappe being egged on by the crowd oh keeper dealt with it Rafinha Lewandowski now Kunde might be able to get in behind the defence and a shooting chance for Lewandowski. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. The counter-attack comes to an end. Testegen needs to clear his lines. Effort from long distance. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Very quick thinking there. Now, what can they produce on the flank? It must go in, surely. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, there it is, the final whistle. And France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.